Lena, what's your take as to, to whether you want to be exposed to these cyclicals uh, in the next uh, few months? Uh, do you think that they've run up too aggressively this past week, past couple of weeks? I think, um, I mean, we're definitely going to continue seeing some rotation. As, you know, Mike Santoli just mentioned, I agree with all the points in terms of the kind of rotations and the reasons, right? We got such good news out of Pfizer. We are expecting Moderna, right, to also bring us news in the next couple of days. And you also, in addition to my, what Mike was saying, I think it's also positive news that the Biden uh, administration has clearly said this morning that they're not looking into a national lockdown. They're more going to do it in kind of geographically, geographically targeted ways. What I will caution, though, is I do think investors have to position themselves with a very diversified portfolio, right? There's still a lot of, of uncertainties in the market. We still don't know when and how big the fiscal stimulus package is going to come, right? We don't know how the Biden administration is going to tackle our relationship with China, which could lead, you know, one way to another uh, to inflation. We also don't know how big this wave of coronavirus is going to be and what that's going to do, you know, further eroding consumer confidence, therefore spending, right? So there's still a lot of uncertainties, and we like to play it, you know, with a kind of barbell diversified portfolio that can perform in any path. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.